Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom right hand corner, we have Michael who's up two games to nil on Adame. Again, keep in mind these guys are playing in some pretty intense lag, which might be why Adame is hitting the 700 APM mark. Adame, bottom left hand corner, is the red Protoss. This is on BSL Aid Runner. And yeah, I feel like Michael's engagements have been what's winning him. First, game one, snuck that DT past. Game two, it feels like that large engagement. Again, I feel like that large engagement in the map where he ended up seizing map control. His engagements seem to be what are winning him these matches overall. Adame, thus far, has exhibited just a little bit better macro comparatively, which might be indicative of this. Whoops, higher APM. Didn't mean to kill his vision there. Piling up. Uh, as far as... This is kind of the argument that's been happening on YouTube. First of all, I will listen to patrons more than... This is, ha ha ha, support me on Patreon, else say hold your VODs hostage a little bit. Not exactly. So either I'm going to continue... I will uh, continue doing the one-a-day thing or the all-at-once thing. But I'm realizing the person... The people who should have the say are the patrons. And currently, I think the Patreon count is... One, Mr. Yes wants them uploaded all at once versus one... I believe De Bivort, Benjamin De Bivort, actually produced my icon iconography. Special shout out to him. Still using that iconography after all these years. Awesome dude. Also an expert on mosquito genetics, I believe. He has really cool stuff that he tweets that looks very scientific. Michael scouting clockwise, or sorry, counterclockwise, Wittershins for Adame. Fun word for that exact thing, I believe. Both players going to end up scouting each other's base last. Looks like they're both opting for assimilator openers. But anyway, point being, it's even if there's another patron who wants to chime in and say what they prefer, I maybe can let that be the split. I personally prefer the uploading one at a time. I'm mostly doing the back to full dump to just kind of get all of the BSL games out there. But it's not yet decided. Maybe I'll, I'll let Twitch, because this is kind of the live Twitch thing. By the way, you can watch this live at Twitch TV slash JiggitySC. Maybe I'll let Twitch decide. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Nothing. Nothing's decided yet. A little bit of a later... Is this a... Cybernetics core before additional pylon? I'm wondering where the Cybernetics core is comparatively. I think an additional Zealot's being produced by Michael. So getting additional Zealot. A little bit later Cybernetics core. And it looks like a Zealot and a Probe are converging on his front door as Adame is looking to be the aggressor here. Which might pay off, because I feel like this is one of those maps where you can attack that Lurker Egg from a corner and not get attacked back. Front door is sealed. Probe, this actually might be an advantage. Probe getting stuck a little bit there in the corner. But is going to be able to walk in and see the tech comparatively, which can be an, a sizable advantage. Probe's testing that front door. But Adame is not budging. Zealot! I take it back. Making its way through. Might be able to get a probe kill. At the very least, is going to be able to get the scouting information and see. But looks like two probes on gas. So not the full complement of three. Suggests they're going to be Dragoons to follow. Walking. This is the first time we've seen Adame be able to sneak up in here. Walking back across. Dragoon is being produced. Three zealots there. Michael pulling that probe out. And another zealot making its way across. Range being upgraded. And a first Dragoon being upgraded. Or being produced. It looks like finally... That Zealot being caught in that back corner. Range upgrading there. So superior armor count on the ground right now for Michael. Which might provide an informational advantage. Adame might want to seal this front as he comes. Yeah, there he's got it. Let's see if he, get a, he gets a probe kill out of it. He's going back home. Does the Zealot get the shot? Yeah. Also gets that free probe kill. Michael, this time, microing a little bit better. Micro? Macroing a little bit better than Adame in the early game. Is up 32 supply, is 21 probes comparatively. Has dropped a second gateway, so it looks like he's going to go two gate robo with Dragoon range. Robotics, it looks like it's just one gate robo comparatively. But this is three zealots and a Dragoon looking up to engage one zealot and two Dragoons. And being that they got to hold that ramp, Michael might end up in a better situation. That's going to be three Dragoons on zealots. Refocus fire, trying to focus one zealot down this is now two dragoons still trying to hold this another dragoon warping out this second gateway 
should have Dragoon momentarily. A single probe, a couple probes coming off the line to try to provide some defense. So that's one probe down. So the early game macro advantage now moving. Well, actually, I was assuming it was Adame, but it's Michael that has it still. Getting additional kills. Now the rest of that army getting cleaned up. So for the moment, Adame actually is going to have a superior Dragoon count on the ground. And is that going to provoke? That is going to provoke robotic support bay. But let's see if Michael still... This is this is the risky thing. Michael was saving for a Nexus. Instead, he's going to plop down a gateway. And I'm almost questioning that decision making to... It's okay to go into your opponent, but I almost feel like if you're going one gate robo... I'm wondering if it's the better part of wisdom to just sit back, actually. Probe looking to try to pull out and scout. I wonder if it's the better part of valor, I should say, to just sit back... And essentially let your, you know, deny that natural expansion, but get it up yourself. Especially because you're not producing more units, you know, if you only have the... Anyway, we'll see. Observer being produced looks like we do have a shuttle out as well. Robotic support bay to follow for Adame. This is a significant amount of Dragoons. Six Dragoons. Here's the thing, though. Adame doesn't have any information. Didn't have the probe scout out. That Reaver is now produced, which is going to provide enough defense where those Dragoons wouldn't be a threat, and will allow Michael to move down and go ahead and take his Nexus. He needs to be a little bit careful with this, because this is a wide open space, and Dragoons could move forward and pick off that Reaver fairly easily at current numbers. With additional Dragoons, they'll have to be, you'll have to position it very, very carefully. I like this pylon in between for Adame to go ahead and scout any sort of shuttle that might be moving in between. Adame playing a little bit more defensively. I think he's still expecting Michael to be a bit more aggressive. Doesn't have a really good idea of what he's up against. The Observer moving across should be able to scout into that base. And mm, this is a little bit unlucky for Adame once again. He might end up getting that Observer picked off depending on where he positions it. We'll keep an eye on that. Has a good Dragoon spread out his front. Looks like he's planning on taking it. Let's see if he pauses. He's not pausing Dragoon production actually, so he might be opting to get aggressive here. Observer coming across sees that Counter Observer. Should still be able to cycle it back around to see this Nexus warping in. And we'll see if that provokes aggression from Adame. He has been producing a lot of units off two gateways comparatively. He has a superior Dragoon count. Might wait for that second Reaver. We'll see. The Observer sweeping, actually sweeping back towards the main. Worried about a Dark Templar, perhaps. Mm. I think he still spotted it. He had to still spot it, right? Compared to let's get a look. Maybe not. Dragoon's going to be able to engage, kill that probe, but that more or less reveals the size of his army. And we'll see if there is a shield battery that gets plopped down as a result for Michael. Or a cannon or something. Yeah, shield battery. And a pylon to provide some disruption. This is going to be two Reavers on the front. It's going to come down to these Reavers for Michael. A lot of Dragoons moving up. Trying to find the shuttle. There's a shuttle. With two Reavers as well. Micro versus Micro. Much larger Dragoon count for Adame. A win here is him taking out this natural expansion and or doing significant amount of damage to the probes. Otherwise, he's just behind economically and that's all there is to it. Gathering up a little bit, looking for engagement point, dropping off those Reavers. Getting a couple of shots off. Reavers moving forward. They're at risk. Ooh, but Reavers getting some good shots on those initial forward Dragoons. And slowly moving to that corner position. Here's the thing, Michael does not have enough Dragoons. They're just taking free shots right now. Good initial hit by those counter Reavers. That's going to be three Reavers on the ground. Shield battery repairing. Huge hit on those Dragoons. More Dragoons getting absolutely wiped out. And I think Michael, with his three Reavers and a closer reinforcement point, should be able to hold this. Loses the shield battery, but that's significant loss. As these two Reavers absorbing double explosion sh scarab shots in that shuttle was looking to scoop something up, and it is there's nothing to scoop up. Ugh. So good engagement from Michael. Once again, his battle engagements... Oof. And that's about... Honestly, they talk about this effect in Brood War where you want... They, they talk about perfect play. And perfect play is where you have exactly enough...
to hold whatever is coming at you, and you hold your economic advantage. So, it that was perfect play in this situation for Michael. He kept the Reavers alive. He held everything. His natural expansion stilled up. Yeah, he lost the shield battery, but no big deal. And now he's got a gigantic advantage. He's got 40 probes up, 70 supply comparatively, and this Nexus is only halfway finished for Adame. Gigantic lead. And all he has to do, honestly, is keep keep producing a, a handful of Reavers. Plop down, yeah, exactly what he's doing here. Plop down a couple Nexus. Make sure he has observers in case some DTs were getting dropped off someplace. Adame needs to do something miraculous to win this. And here's the thing. Usually, sometimes you could go up to Foregate to try to, to follow this up. But but considering that natural expansion was up such a long period of time. Hmm. Anyway. We'll see how things continue. I am going to... Well, this kind of drags on. I had a comment from Twitch chat to talk about the YouTube schedule. So usually on Tuesdays, I start a little bit later, usually around 10 o'clock. AM PST. Uh, on Thursdays, sometimes it will start as early as 9 o'clock. Today I started at 9.30. But somewhere in that range, I am casting these Brood War games every morning. Occasionally I do it at night, but mostly at night I'm doing like variety gaming for my own sanity. Honestly, this is all for my own sanity, but a little bit to keep Brood War alive, but primarily for my own sanity. Michael regathering a sizable army. Good spread there for Adame. Grabbing his second assimilator. Yeah, that Reaver is a little bit exposed on that top edge. Michael just kind of wandering in. He's got two Reavers on the low ground. This is a good attack point, but that Reaver remaining silent mostly here. That could be a bit... Oh, wow, that was a huge Scarab, actually. Terrible engagement for Michael. Finally getting on top of that Reaver in that back corner. Loses two Reavers, though, and one still standing, but still just overwhelming units on the ground. Reavers should be taken out very quickly here. Dragoons, yeah. Getting wiped out as well. And this natural expansion is now completely breached. A couple Dragoons. Yeah, there's GG from Adame. Honestly, Michael could afford to completely botch that and still be absolutely okay. So! Michael advances. 3-0. That was not the expectation I had, honestly, looking at Adame's level of play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to the next... I think I'll do one or two more. Maybe one more, and we will push on from there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.